Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Good morning, good evening to all of my brothers from all around the world. I just want to thank you for being here one more time and thank you for participating in this daily Bible studies. Again, my name is Dr. PJ from the Prophetic Word and I just want to pray, Father God, I thank you for each and every one that are here today. As you continue, Lord, to pour out your wisdom, your knowledge and understanding and elevate your people in a higher spiritual realm. Father, I thank you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. And today, the prophetic word for the day, I'm going to be teaching and explaining what is an ancestor covenant. You must understand that the ancestors are still, the genes are still alive today. From begat to begat, from male to male, from female to female, that bloodline is still alive. Whether you came from Abraham or from a normal ethnic person, to this day, those genes are alive. Whether you came from a fallen angel, those genes are still alive. They still pass down through the bloodline. Heavenly Father has destroyed a lot of these giants. He has cleansed the earth. It takes at least 70 generations for the bloodlines of the fallen angels to be expunged. And we know that God did a wonderful and beautiful job because we don't have too many giants, but we do have some giants that are still roaming and alive and are still born in every year. Amen. And you will say, well, how are these giants and how do we see them? You will see my report and my Bible study when um, I put it up online or you can Google modern day giants. Why? Because they practice polygamy and incest and they and married into their own family. They call inbred. And that has produced mental illness, generic diseases, golden blood, orange blood, a lot of deformities and weak kidneys, weak liver, and a lot of sickness. So let us go and find, read. I'm reading from my own book, Ancestors Covenant. Now, therefore, that the Lord thy God, therefore, that the Lord thy God, he is good and the faithful God, which keeps covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generation. And you can read this in Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 9. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries, but the people that know their God shall do exploits. And this is in Daniel chapter 11 32, where Satan is going to put the pressure on the people in the earth. And we see the pressure is on, and those who know their Lord shall do exploit. And we are doing exploit. Which things are an allegory for those, for these are two covenants, the one from Mount Sinai, which gender it to bondage, which is Agar, and you can read about that covenant with Agar in Galatians chapter 4, 24. For this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia, an answer to Jerusalem, which now is and is in bondage with her children. And Galatians 4.25 But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of all, of us all. Galatians 4.26 For it is written, Rejoice, though, breath, though barren, that bear it not. Break forth and cry, though that travail not. For the desolate had many more children than she, which had a husband. 
Galatians 4.27 And to close out, Know we, brethren, as Isaac was, and as the children of the promise, which is Galatians 4.28 And what God is saying, the woman of bondage, she's still in bondage. But her bondage is poverty, shame, disgrace, desolation. But the children of God that came through Sarah, they are free and they're not living in bondage. So I just want to drop this in your spirit as a prophetic word of today. Who the Lord set free is free indeed. Amen. The children of Israel was in bondage for 400 years in Israel. And in this land of the Americas, the people of color was African American also was in bondage 400 years. Thank you for listening. Be blessed, be encouraged, and stay in the word of God. And you will continue to learn. And the Bible says you can go to the book of Galatians and read chapter 4. God bless you. God keep you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus.